now that you've had a, a quick crash course in the regressions documentation for sklearn, let's deploy it on our ages net worths problem so you can really see how it works. Here's how I'm going to have you do this. I've created a data set of net worths and ages. Then I've split it into training and testing sets, just like we do in supervised classification. I've plotted the training data here. So you can see that there's definitely a general trend in the data where as you get older, your net worth goes up. But I've also added a little bit of noise to the data so that it's not a perfect relationship. It's a little bit more true to life in that respect. However, the way that I generated the data was using the equation that Sebastian was using in the previous few videos. So I start with an age and then I calculate a net worth using the coefficient of 6.25. So the answer that we get out when we perform our regression when we fit it should give us a coefficient that's pretty close to 6.25, although not exactly because of this noise that I've mixed in here. So this is the training data, and this is what you should get once you've performed your regression. In this scatter plot, I now have the training data, but I also have the testing data, which I've colored in red, so you can distinguish the points. Using the blue points, I've fit a line, which I've drawn in here. This is the result of the regression. Then when I overlay it on these points, you can immediately see that it seems to be capturing the trend in the data pretty well. Also using this line, I can use it to predict the net worth of anyone with an age between 20 and 65 or so. So this is what we're going for in the end. Let me show you a little bit of the setup code that I've given you. And in the quiz, I'll have you fill in the blanks. So when you get into the quiz, here's what it's going to look like. I create training and testing data uh, for you with the ages and the net worths that you're going to be using. And then the meat of the regression is actually going to be in this student reg uh, function. I'll take you over there in just a second so you know what it'll look like. But what you need to do with this is return a fitted regression, which then I'm going to be using in this plotting code down here. So I put in my testing ages and then the predictions that I make for my testing ages using my fitted regression. And that's going to give me the line that you see. So, okay, what is student reg doing? Well, the first thing is I know that I'm sending it the training uh, ages data and net worths data. And what I want you to do here are a few things. The first is importing the sklearn regression module. And then you want to create and train your regression. You want to name your regression reg because you're going to be returning an object named reg. So it will be looking for something with that name. So that's the assignment in the quiz. Give it a shot.